Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new around here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you 15 items under 15 pounds from Ikea. I absolutely love Ikea. I go shopping there a lot of the time, but obviously with lockdown happening at the moment, we can't go shopping. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite items under 15 pounds that I absolutely love and always use. So if you wanna know what they are, just keep watching. Let's get started. Right, okay, well, what should I start with? I'm gonna start with a classic IKEA product and that is gonna be a basket. Okay, so if you've been following me for a little while, then you'll know that we recently redid our like linen closet or boiler cupboard and I put loads of these baskets in there for storage. Now, this one here is my little pamper basket. I put lots of different labels on them for extra organization, but this is my pamper basket and I keep this in my cupboard and it's so lovely. I wasn't really sure on the dark wood, but I really love it against like crisp white I think it looks really gorgeous so I was really happy with this they also do a larger basket as well I think this one here is five pounds the larger one is nine pounds so really really great gorgeous basket and it's great for storage so absolutely loved that one Ikea is the best place for fake plants specifically I would say like greenery like the flowers they have loads of flowers lots and lots of flowers I prefer home sense for flowers but um, just because they have more of a selection but with the greenery and trees and faux trees and plants amazing I absolutely love them I have them all around the house this one here is a Feshka plant I think they have loads that are all called the same so I'm not really sure if you just searched it on the website you'll be able to find it or in store when you're able to go in store this one here is seven pounds what I also love from Ikea are the potted roses and potted flowers those are also gorgeous they come in a pot like this as well and they are just super super gorgeous i actually have them outside in a kind of window basket i guess you would say it's underneath the window and they just look pretty all year round i get them out every summer and kind of put them around the garden as and where i can but at the moment obviously we can't really go out to go and buy new flowers so these are perfect for this kind of time so if you've got them already around the house put them in a pot put them outside and they will look absolutely gorgeous. Next we have lighting. Pendant lighting in Ikea is amazing. I've actually got pendant lighting from Ikea in all of the boys' bedrooms actually. And I also have one here to show you. This one here is the Brunster and it was 12 pounds. I actually use this as a hack. So I tip it this way and this pot here that you can see, I put it inside and use it as a little stand. It is so cool, such a great little hack. What I love about IKEA products is that a lot of the time you can hack them and make them personal to you and customizable to your home. So again, you could use this as a pendant if you wanted to, or you can customize it, use it as a plant stand or whatever you like. You could also use it as a little basket so you can store toys in. I've got a little toy here, let's put him in like so although this one here he kind of looks like he's in prison now but <laughs> you know what i mean there are so many things you could do with these but this one here particularly is fab because obviously i use it as a little plant stand so i love that for 12 pounds you cannot go wrong while we're here as well i might as well mention the pops plant pots vases from ikea as a little bonus are also amazing again that's how i have that one and this goes into Vinny's room. Okay, so in the kitchen, I also use IKEA products for kitchen organization and food. I use these for our cereals. So we've just got some food containers here. They do smaller ones and they also do larger ones here. And they start at £2.50. So if you're looking to organize your pantry or your kitchen, then these are absolutely fantastic for food. They also have a lot of glass containers as well now. So definitely check those out when Ikea is open because they are definitely worth it when you wanna get your kitchen organized. It's just so much easier to be able to see how much you've got rather than them being in their like cardboard containers that they usually come in. This is so much better to see what you've got when you need to stock up. So I told you that I loved baskets. This is another one from Ikea. It's got little handles, so it's really, really handy. And I use this for toy storage in my son's nursery. So I put toys in there, blankets, anything like that. You could use this for plants, you could use it for toilet rolls, you could use it for blankets, spare towels in your bathroom anything like that it's really really versatile and it's a really easy hackable product as well so if you want to hack it you can you can paint this you could add some pom-poms some colored pom-poms to kind of go with your home style or home decor this one was 13 pounds and it's called the flattest they also have a few other ones that are already colored at the bottom like pink and green but i really like this one and i think it's really cool so this is the little flattest basket now I'm going to talk about a couple of items that I really love for the children. So I bought this roll of colouring paper ages and ages ago now and it's lasted so long. And especially during lockdown, this is absolutely perfect. So if you've got anything like this hanging around or if you bought it when you're in Ikea 
and forgot about it like I did a little while ago, then definitely go grab it because it's so good. The boys love coloring in, especially Renzo. You can just pull it across the whole table so everyone can have some coloring time. Even I love to do some coloring in. It's really lovely and relaxing. They also do this in plain paper as well so they can just be creative and do their own drawings, which is around four pounds. So very, very affordable and a great little activity for the little ones. I also wanted to mention as well while I'm here, are the ikea coloring pens because these are really really great i think i've bought these a couple of times now every time i go to ikea i like to stock up on these because the boys get through pens like i don't know they leave the lids off but they've been really good with these ones they've got quite a thick nib which is really really good and easy for the boys to use when they're coloring in and they last a long time as well so definitely check out the coloring pens when you go in there it's not really something that you think to look at when you're looking in ikea but i got those for the boys at christmas time and they've lasted this long so yeah thumbs up for the coloring pens the next item are candles i love the little tea light candles i use these with my wax melts all the time literally probably every day i'll use a new one so these are the vanilla ones they smell gorgeous i keep them in this little napkin tray which again is from ikea i think i saw mrs hinch using this little idea and i thought it was great and it works really well in my utility room so yeah great idea but most importantly gorgeous candles and perfect if you love a wax melt so definitely check those out they smell amazing these ones are £1.30 for a pack of 30 they also do a 300 pack of unscented ones for £3 so yeah great love those candles now I'm going to talk about some clothing organization or beauty storage if you wanted to these are the scub boxes I think it's how you pronounce it scub or scub and it's £5 for a pack of six boxes which is amazing I think I've had these for about seven or eight years now and I've used them in the boys wardrobes for smaller items of clothing so we've got socks and things in here they last so long this still looks brand new and I've obviously had it for seven years definitely worth five pounds if you want to get your wardrobe organized they look like such a boring purchase don't they but they come in so so useful so the first bathroom item I want to talk about is the Toft Bow bath mat this is so soft I absolutely love it it's like um microfiber I guess I don't know it's really 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 soft I've got one and Mark's got one in the ensuite this one is quite a big one they also have smaller versions I believe probably half the size but oh so nice on the feet love the color we've also got a dark gray one and again they wash really well as well next we've got this baby pink bath towel it's also got a little hook on it so if you want to hang it up then you can it's absolutely huge i also bought the smaller one for my hair so so good lasted us ages it's not the softest towel in the world like it's not really fluffy but it's one that gets you dry do you know what i mean with some towels what sometimes when they're really really fluffy they don't get you dry i, I don't know maybe it's just me but this is a good towel that gets you dry and it was seven pounds so really really great mark's also got this in dark gray as well they've got loads of different colors it's actually called a bath sheet so maybe that's why it's so big but it's huge very easy to wash and quick drying as well next we're going to head back to the kitchen i'm going to show you these these bamboo straws i actually bought these maybe a couple of ikea trips ago and we've been using them loads the boys love using them for when we have like little milkshakes or smoothies and yeah they've lasted really well so these drinking straws were four pounds fifty like i said they come with the straw cleaner as well and i think they're great they're great for the environment you can reuse them perfect to pop in your kitchen drawer whenever you're having a smoothie or a milkshake i think they'll be great for that this bottle here is called the tomat and it is one pound one pound to buy which is amazing so yeah i use this all the time for Zaflora. i found this in the garden section when i was shopping in ikea they do have a couple of other colors as well great little spray bottle especially if you like to do diy cleaning products if you're doing home haircuts at the moment then this is also great for that because you can just fill it up with water spray it on your client's hair being your son daughter husband whoever and it will help with the haircut i also wanted to talk about a box called the stuck box i'll leave a picture here i got this for the car our car boot can get very very messy and a lot of the time i like to have a few essentials in there like some coats towels things like that but obviously in the boot they just go all over the place so i bought the stick box so we can have it in there and keep it organized and tidy and it's been working great for us i thought that after a few months it'd probably get a little bit messy or you know half the stuff would be missing but it's not it's all still in there and it's just got all of our essential things in there and because you can seal it up things aren't flying about all over the boot so definitely recommend that you could also use it for under the bed storage for clothing items or pop it in the loft if you need to but 
I absolutely love it for the car. My final item for kids is the Four Sick Tig, I think it's called, stool. Now this is a great stool if you're potty training your little one. You can use it in the kitchen if you need that little bit of height for them to help you with cooking and stuff. It's a great little stool to help them with their independence. It's only three pounds and it's quite small as well so you can store it away easily if you need to. So this next item is one that probably shouldn't be in this video because it's over 15 pounds, it's actually 19 pounds, but it's such a great mirror. I had to include it. It is the Tynes mirror and it is £19 and it's such a great vanity mirror. I used it for absolute years until I got my light up mirror but it's so so good. It's rather large. It's such a fab mirror for your dressing table whenever I used to have it. So if you're looking for a new dressing table mirror then I would highly recommend that. It lasted me absolute years and when I finished with it I think I actually gave it to my mum and she uses it now so definitely recommend that one had to give that one a little shout out because it's so so good and a lovely mirror those are all of my ikea favorites i think i've mentioned everything or most of the items under 15 pounds that i have actually there are a few more probably but maybe i'll do another video on that if you would like to see it thank you so much for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and also let me know in the comments down below what your favorite items are under 15 pounds if you can if not, just tell me all of your favourite items from Ikea because I love, love, love Ikea. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave my Ikea playlist down below if you want to check out some more videos and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!